Good morning, 14th of August, 2024, and I was looking at X, formerly known as Twitter, this morning, and I happened to see an updated statistic for the view count on the Elon Musk, Donald Trump conversation of two days ago. And I got to ask, thinking to myself, holds the record for the highest view count in a single day, and I chose to look at X's uh, view count and YouTube view count since the X interview or X conversation with Musk and Trump was supposed to be in video format, even though those capabilities reduced it to audio only as a result of a DDoS attack. I pulled up my browser and asked the question in the title, who holds the record for the highest view count in a single day? And the results I got were less than satisfactory. I got how to increase view counts on videos, which was not the question I asked. I also got the top 10, top 50, top 100 uh, videos of all time. Again, not the question I asked. So let's go to the owner of YouTube, second largest search engine in the world, and ask them, the largest search engine in the world, the same question. And they were happy to spit that information out right up top, didn't have to do any poking around. 108.2 million views as of 2024, the record for the most viewed YouTube video Within a 24-hour period was held by BTS, a music video for Butler. So it doesn't surprise me that a music video would hold the record, and but those statistics are four years old. That song, Butler, by BTS was released on May in May of 2021. So nobody's topped them, basically, on YouTube, even Mr. Beast. The policies for counting views on X are a little ambiguous, and I found their policy to be not only ambiguous, but very vague. Nevertheless, we are getting real-time numbers. YouTube, on the other hand, is very specific about their view counts. If you watch 30 seconds of a video, it counts as a view. Now, you can only watch that video uh, four or five times, I think, from the same IP address. So if you watch it four or five different times on your computer, for example, it will count. And then if you watch it on your phone from a different IP address, four or five times will count again. That's what they say in their policies anyway. I personally think it takes much less view time on a video on YouTube for it to count. As little as possibly three to five seconds, but don't hold me to that because I can't prove it. Nevertheless, all of this makes this statistic by Trump and Musk, or Musk and Trump, pretty astonishing. Less than 48 hours, 182 million views. As many of you know, I am one of those people who's never satisfied to leave well enough alone. So I went to the U.S. Census to get the most accurate and current voting age uh, numbers. And sadly, the U.S. Census gave me all kinds of other statistics. Shame on you, Census, when all I asked was a simple question. What is the percent of the total population that is voting age? And the voting age population was 255,457,000 people. Notable increase of 1.26%. So let's do a little math. And yes, I used a calculator because math is not my favorite subject. 182 million is 71.24% of 255,457,000. Now, we're not doing, this is raw data. We are not doing any adjustments. We are not um, 
factoring in things like grumpy attitudes, voter confusion, or cognitive decline, for example. What I can tell you is that the majority of the population, the voting population, is in the 64 and above voting range. And the least um, represented population are the new voters, the whatever gen they are, X, Y, Z, A, B, C gen, the 18 to 24 year olds. That is not um, unusual. It usually takes one to two election cycles for the youngest of the voting age population to kind of get on board and say, okay, you know, I need to do this as a responsible citizen. Since this was a worldwide broadcast, in no way am I suggesting that 71.24% of the total population of voting age Americans made up that 182 million in less than 48 hours. So then the question becomes, who was watching? Well, we know for sure that Canadians were watching. We know that Brits were watching. It's safe to assume there were a representative population of Aussies that were watching because we've had feedback from them in 48 hours. The rest of the people is a big mystery other than we know that governmental representatives all over the globe were watching. What that number was of the 182 million so far is anybody's guess. If you have not heard this conversation with Elon Musk and presidential candidate Donald Trump, I will leave you the same link I left you yesterday when I discussed this in uh, show notes. It is a timestamp link. So it starts at the point where Kevin 24-7 is in and can broadcast and Elon Musk is discussing the fact that there was a denial of service attack on his service. They fixed it, but it will only be audio. Nevertheless, it is an interesting, intelligent discussion, and so far in this three-way presidential race, this is the only conversation since the RNC that discusses policies that affect us in our pocketbooks. Except, Robert F. Kennedy has been talking about policy all along, but he is not being platformed fairly as he should be in a three-way presidential race. Thank you so much for joining me. We've answered the question and I have provided you with the relevant information. I hope that you get something out of this and it makes you think the way it did at me. God bless you. Hope you have a great day. See you real soon.